So what if everything that happens to you is not a coincidence? Not only it is not a coincidence, but also you created the situations. You attracted or created results through your choices and actions. Hmm? Basically, the choices you make lead you towards a path. So, because everything is cause and effect, sometimes the outcome that might be coming is already part of that causality that was happening so far. Hey, this is Mike Sigula from TrueFury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series of videos where I talk about metaphysics, esoteric ideas and teachings, mysticism, shamanism, and all sorts of relevant and related subjects. So if you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe uh, because this is episode 50 something already. And before we're gonna start, I just want to apologize a little bit that I'm not creating as much content recently because I'm working on an online course called Exit the Matrix. Some of you heard about it already. This is an online course that basically helps people to transform their lives, start attracting what is good for them, help them to discover their purpose and uh, turn it into a career and things like that attract the right partner, all sorts of topics like that. It covers a lot of different areas. So if you are interested and want to know more about the course, have a look at truefury.com forward slash academy or click on the link below. All right, enough talking. Let's get into the topic. So the title of this video might sound controversial to some of you. I like to be controversial <laughs> but um, you know this comes from understanding of deeper levels of reality and I want to say to people who are skeptical please have an open mind you know if you start watching some of my videos I talk a lot about how consciousness works and I drop some evidence here and there so you know this is my goal as well to kind of prove that consciousness is everything and it creates reality so just have an open mind and um, treat it as kind of philosophy let's say so what if everything that happens to you is not a coincidence not only it is not a coincidence but also you created the situations you attracted or created results through your choices and actions hmm? you might think this is ridiculous right let's say someone has a car accident this is random right I, i'm not gonna agree on this one i think that everything almost everything really is a creation of us so let me let me show you a couple of different areas that talk about why this is the case. So let's say you met a love of your life and it seems like you've known each other for ages, but it was random, right? Seemed random. Actually, what happens is that very often when this happens is that we know this person. We go through incarnation cycles and we change bodies and we have something called soul plan and I talk quite a bit about it but basically apparently up to 70% of important events in our lives are designed before incarnation so these types of situations like meeting the love of your life very often they've been designed and both of you agreed to do it before incarnation 
And you know, I've done quite a lot of work on that. Um, so for example, I've been doing past life regression and uh, sessions with psychedelics where I would tune into my higher self and access different lifetimes. And I was checking quite a lot of things how, for example, if I know anyone from my current life and almost everyone I was checking turned out that I knew them from previous lifetimes. And especially it's funny because the people that I have the most connection with, I know them the longest or we had like very significant lifetimes together. So want to know a little bit more about it have a look at my content about um, soul plan and uh, soul family because this is called soul family so we tend to incarnate in groups so this is just one example right but also there's something just just cause and effect right so um, basically the choices you make lead you towards a path and for example you have a tarot card reading, right? And uh, I don't know, there is a reading that shows you that something's gonna happen. And then it happens. And you might think, how is that possible, right? So, because everything is cause and effect, sometimes the outcome that might be coming is already part of that causality that was happening so far. That's why it's very likely it's going to happen because it's just cause and effect and you are already in a phase of getting to a result of your previous actions and things like tarot cards but all other systems as well not only tarot cards they work as a mirror they show you the situation right because it's already happening almost right so for example Sometimes it can be also dreams, sometimes uh, different divination systems. But basically, think about it like two plus two added together, you know it's gonna be four, right? So certain actions added together that happened till now will result in an outcome that is coming. And that's why, for example, tarot cards sometimes can reflect that. You still can deviate, you sometimes, you know, you're gonna make a choice and this outcome not gonna happen, for example, because you made a different choice. But very often, things that start happening or, or are about to happen are already based on some previous causality. So this is another example why never anything is coincidental. In recent years, a lot of people talk about the simulation theory or simulation hypothesis. But maybe we're living in a simulation and this is being um, taken more and more seriously by science. So my, my understanding is more that in a way reality is a simulation but it's not simulation created by some kind of race or us in the past or anything like that. Reality is created by consciousness and same way like you know you have a dream and your dream is created by you, right? So think about why do you get certain dreams, right? You know, let's say you watch a horror movie before going to sleep. And now your dream starts showing you some, some stuff from the movie, for example, right? So basically what happens in your daily life gets into your subconscious mind. And now your dreams are forming from these situations, memories, and things like that, right? But in the dream world, you might have separate people, but they're not separate from you, right? They are all your own creation, and everything that you experience is your own creation, your own imagination, right? So think about that what happens here in this reality is exactly the same thing. That there are no separate people really because everything is just one entity and you are shifting to a different versions of reality constantly when you make decisions when you behave in specific ways when you desire something 
you are literally rearranging the dream so your actions your choices gonna create some kind of results in your life which might sound crazy <laughs> to many people but we see it I don't know, with things like you know certain people tend to attract certain situations for example someone is angry complaining all the time and this person always attracts these types of scenarios hmm? someone who is the opposite doesn't seem to attract some, some of these things for example right now let, let me give you an uh, interesting example I was watching this documentary years ago it was about a woman who basically um, I don't know it was like British girl living somewhere in Thailand and apparently she she kind of she lo she didn't have money to go back to England or something like that there was some guy living next to her in a bungalow and he um, she was like ill whatever and she, he basically proposed to her to smuggle drugs in I don't know stomach or something like that and she she decided to do it this is a documentary film right and she explains the situation what was happening when she was going to to the airport with well, you know this substance and she said something like this on the if I remember correctly but it was something like that she was on the train and police came and captured a thief next to her right and then so this is like a symbol right let's say before the same happened to her because once she was at the airport they checked her and she ended up in prison so the, the documentary was basically talking about how like the British government tried to get her out to reduce the sentence because it was very serious crime there but you see that she made the decision right to do something illegal like that right and this has a potential to get her to the result that she got herself into which was what happened at the airport where they captured her so before it happens she she's already making a decision and she is starting a path towards a result right and the symbols because she's already there is a, gonna be a result coming from her decision the symbols start reflecting that right so for example the situation that next to her there was a thief and police came that was already like a sign to her that this is what might happen to you soon you know you already take took the path that, to get you to this result so you see this is the thing about cause and effect right that's why for example I don't know we talk about having intentions when we do psychedelic uh, sessions with plant medicines for example you know one time I, I never never really like made a video about it but I had a session on psychedelics where you know I had this uh, encounter with a female entity and uh, she was basically communicating to me for three hours all sorts of really interesting things I was asking questions it was she seemed to be my spirit guide she was explaining a lot about my life but I, I probably gonna make a video about it it was really interesting the stuff I was getting from her but before the session I I had a dream it was like two three days before the session right I had a dream that you know I was with my cousin in the mountains doing this ceremony and uh, and in the dream which happened before the session I was warned let's say that we once we're gonna split up with my cousin he gonna get lost in the mountains and he not gonna get back to the hotel and I kind of ignored that dream this was like two three days before the session I, I didn't even know exactly where we gonna go you know I was planning everything just like oh this mountain let's go here to this village whatever and then I had this really powerful 
a ceremony with psychedelics where this entity appeared and was communicating to me all sorts of really interesting things and at the very end of the session all right this was like summer you know i was so blown away with what was happening that i just didn't really pay attention to my cousin who was there with me and i would take a bottle of water drink it drop it on the floor and keep communicating you know focusing on, on what i was getting with this woman so i didn't realize that i actually i drank entire water and my cousin was really tired overweight you know i dragged him all the way to the top of the mountain <laughs> to do this uh, session so he was weak at the end of the session and i didn't even pay attention to it so finally there is like the end of the session we are about to go down the hill to the hotel and he's like starting to tell me that he's very weak he feels weak he's gonna pass out he needs some water and i drank all water accidentally so he's like starting to tell me i think you're gonna have to leave me here and go get some water and the moment he started saying that I got a vision download. <coughs> Remember about the dream three days before. I, I literally had a download, right? About a dream that I've had two, three days before the session where I was being shown the situation that happened just now at the end of the session. So basically, before the session, before we even decided where we're gonna go, I was choosing things randomly. It was already known that we're gonna end up without water, I'm gonna drink all water, my cousin is gonna get dehydrated, and he's gonna come up with idea that I should leave. And then what I got in the dream before was that we're gonna get lost, basically. So think about that. Hope this makes sense, but basically I was warned about the outcome of the session before we even had the session. So that was already known at least a few days before. What's gonna happen? And I, everything during the session, I thought it was random. Of course, it wasn't random. But you see, this is the thing, this is the thing. And so what happened, uh, you know, we, we started doing uh, breath of fire, like breathing through the nose, got prana up, started feeling better and then went back together to the hotel and still got lost on the way down the hill but uh, the, the point I'm making here is how the situation was already known before it happened so that means that the whole session including my encounter with this female uh, was or organized <laughs> it wasn't any coincidence or anything like that at some point I can make a video about wh what I got during that session with this uh, woman. This is another example. There's no coincidences. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everything that you, happens in your life is cause and effect. You created everything, everything. And you're shifting to versions of reality based on your behaviors and actions and your choices. And when something negative happens, Typically, this is to teach us something or maybe some something deeper. So have a look at my videos about soul plan, about uh, soul groups. There is a really interesting book by Robert Schwartz, Your Soul's Plan, which talks about how we plan our lives before incarnations. And uh, have a look at truefury.com forward slash academy, sign up for updates when we are launching the online course follow me on instagram it's mike saigula on instagram and let me know what you think about this video if it resonates please share it with others and thanks for watching until next time